See yeah. it hopping in the bleaky pop. I'm the reason why my city hot. I'm the reason why they spinning blocks. Niggas hating and they turn cops. What's good, team? I you already know it is a cute guy right in front of the camera these days. Mr. Mark Nalman himself, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another review. Today review is gonna be a special one because you know we got a new addition to the family and so on going. And I'ma have him in this video because it's a positive video on a positive song. Um I got a video pulled up right now on the YouTube channel, Martin Almin. You could go check it out. We're going to review Give Thanks by the artist Kush, a.k.a. Reaper Boss, you know, coming out from Guyana. It's a special review and reason being, we got the addition to the family. And, like, I know Kush from growing up years. We went to school together and so on, you know, high school, we went to high school together. And he's been pushing music. Like, he's been really going hard with music from since school is. I, I remember he used to want to clash me and my homeboy, um, 3D. He always want to clash us and be like, yo, listen to this new song he write and whatever. And for know that, you know, we came out of school. I'm still doing what I'm doing, of course. And, you know, he's still pursuing the music and trying to make a career out of that. And I'm proud that, you know, me being a friend and brother, I am. I'm proud that I have the platform so that I could be able to give it to him so he could be able to, you know, propel his career. But we're going to get into the song. Um, Give Thanks by Kush. And of course, I got to bring the addition in. Alright guys, so welcome the addition to the family. This is Ezekiel Hyrule. Of course, I had to add the name in there because his blood, sweat, and tears is history in the making of getting the name together and all that. But you guys know the history behind the name and if you don't, then you could go follow the vlog channel and catch up on that. But meet Ezekiel Hyrule, my right hand, my everything, you feel me? Um, Yeah, he's going to be doing the review with me and most of the reviews from now on, you feel me? Say hi to the people. <laughs> All right, good. So I gotta talk to you and him at the same time. You feel me? We're gonna do a review today. This is your first job, right? Why is he yawning? You're tired already. All right, this is your first gig on YouTube. Say hi to the YouTube community and say hi to the team I rollers. All right, so I'm gonna get right into the track right now. Like I said, the track is called Give Thanks by Kush, and it's actually a video. What happened? All right, so we got a multitask right now. I think he's a little bit cranky, but he's a uh, good though. Alright, I had to send you with his mom. He started getting a little bit cranky for a little minute. You know, we still gotta continue the process, so let's go. Give thanks. Official video. I should I should say official video. You know when something's official. That says it already. It's official. Let's get right into it. From the starting of the scream is directed by Tari Clark Photography. So shout out to you guys. So let's go in right into it right now. with the video quality you guys like totally step it up a thousand bars um looking at the video is definitely one of the best qualities out there i could keep saying that like i said i know kush you know we got history together growing up and everything so to see him reach this far i believe this is his first video too if i'm correct you feel me so to see him get this far is super dope and i really congratulate you and you know the team and doing everything it's called give thanks and going into it it already sound like it got a lot of meaning you know you said still give thanks all our life so rough all our life so tough you feel me and you know growing up in Ghana, we definitely could relate you feel me so we really got to give thanks whether it be for life even waking up you know food on the table we struggle we all struggle you feel me but we still got to give thanks at the end of the day and that's what i feel like he's about to go you know continue into the video and, and say so let's go 
We never bad mind nobody, me a preemie on a things. So why they want to fight me, love me, let me do me thing. Mama, oh, Safi Bill, tired, see her suffering. Man, work hard and had the son, a man, a pretty millions. Now look back to right and all, man, ready for the fighter now. A man come for me to ease house, never had no light and now. Mama, send a word yourself, son, your future right and now. Big up every man, what's straight, want to see them light and now. Shout out to shout out to his mom too, man. Like I said, it's a special review and a special video for me because I know him and his family and all that. So I could only say that you know so much, but I really know him and I'm like looking at this, I'm super proud of him. Like you know, lyrics wise, the way he came out, you know, the quality looks dope. Like I said, you know, for me, I'm looking down the computer right here, so everything's on point going forward. And I know how much having this career and you know making money in the business and so on. It's gonna really help out him and his family and everybody. Like I said, we are struggling at the end of the day, so it's nobody that really born with a silver spoon or a gold spoon in their mouth, you know, growing up. So give thanks. We really need that, man. That that's a powerful that's a powerful title right there. Still a gift thanks, all the time so rough. Me say all the time so rough. Still a gift thanks, all the time so rough. Hey, all the time so rough. Oh yeah, so the baby back. You see, you got the the fireside and you know the bush coke happening in the video. That's really dope. That's something that we used to do growing up. I don't even think people still do that no more. Like I remember, you know, you had all the neighbors come over and you bush cook at the back of the yard while the parents in front gaffing on a Sunday or Saturday. You know, it's different experience growing up in a third world country, and it's definitely different being in America. You know, you miss a lot of things. So I noticed that. And you know, I just want to mention that. I still a gift thanks. Me not sleep right, me eat songs. Get a youth one richer than bangs. To the father, me say thanks. Big up me bumba clad fans. What's a blank for me than a mother man? I mm. One thing me know, me not lean for no man. Me full of style, me full of lyrics, a wagon. Mm. Me not sell out, me not snitch for no man. Keep it real like the goal me got on. Still a gift thanks. All right, I want to point out, you know, a couple of things he said. He not sell out, he not snitch for no man. Um, that's definitely true because knowing him growing up, like we had, we had some, some conflicts in school and so, you know, with the gangs and so on. And he's one of the persons who I could have called on and be like, yo, Kush, this happening or that happening. Like, no matter what, he's ready, ready, ready to fight, ready to rep represent you. He's, he's just coming, you know, he's ready for it. There's so much, so much history, with, you know, between the two of us, man. So shout out Kush. He's definitely 100% real and authentic. You feel me? He's definitely, you know, speaking out about certain things. And the guy and the people know, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people in the third world country could relate to what he's saying right now. You know, the, the government system wasn't set out for people like us, you feel me? People of color and, you know, low income um families and all that stuff you know it wasn't set out for us so i've seen him touch on that you got something to say papa what do you think about it? tell the people what you think about it papa <laughs> all right let's go into it the candy road, no joke, no fun. We got me gun, protect me, like me bank account, that tell me wife. They need no boy if you hike me, thing me tell them straight, go look alive. Get a youth, no trust the man, get up yourself and set your mind. I give thanks. Definitely, like you said, get the gun, protect your life. Bank account is his wife. You feel me? Get the youth, not trust no one. Are you smiling? You like that line? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, you know, he's speaking truth within his music. And he actually live all his truth that, you know, he speaks within his music. So that that's one good thing to see, you know, as an artist and especially an artist that I know. That's good to see you living your truth. And, you know, it's good. It's just good to see the growth, period. Because, like I said, we came from a rough path. So it's good to see the growth within it. You feel me? What do you want to say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> oh man, he, he's in the rack again. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna love it. Although time is so rough, although time is so rough, still I give thanks, yeah. Although time is so rough, although time is so rough, still I give thanks. Although time is so rough, we say, although time is so rough, still I give thanks. Although time is so rough, hey, although time is so rough, hey. Mommy, happy, happy, no more stress to me, daddy. Hey, hey. Shout out to Auntie and Uncle right in the video. I see you got a family in the video. Shout out to that one. Shout out to the fam, you know. Mommy, happy, happy, no more stress to me, daddy. He said, Mama have to happy no more stress for me, daddy. You feel me? Guys, like I said, growing up is 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 rough parts, man. And you guys know, like I ain't even gotta I ain't even gotta stress on that too much. You guys know how it is, you know, growing up in a third world country or even growing up in America, that shit not even nice. Like before I came to America, they sold me on dreams. They sold my family on dreams. Yeah, alright. Yeah, so coming here and seeing exactly what it is and you know it's not what they tell you, man. America's not what it is. This is not the land. I mean, it is the land of opportunities, but it's not the place for you to come and, you know, sit down and vibe and party and all that, man. You better come get on your ten toes and, you know, make your money, provide for your family and all that, man. Alright, that concludes Give Thanks by Kush. You feel me? Little man had his say in it, right? You know. It's all about it's all about praise and, and value and worth to the end of the day, you feel me? Whether it be physical or material things and mentally and all that, you know, you gotta give thanks for whatever you have and you know what you don't have because sometimes having a lot doesn't mean it's good at the same time, you feel me? So it's it's two sides to the story and it's two parts you could work with. Your part is just the best part for you. You just gotta figure out what that is, you feel me? Figure out what you need in life and you know what matters to you and all that but um come back to the song i would give it out of out of 10 i would give i definitely give it a 10 out of 10 rating like off bat and that's not because of you know the relationship i have with kush but that's because of the message and you know what it's saying and all that so i'll definitely give it a 10 out of 10 what you gotta say papa okay okay all right yeah man so Definitely a 10 out of 10 for that. Shout out to the team. Shout out for the, um, the production, AJ. AJ Records, AJ Productions. You feel me? Shout out to him for because I know he the man behind the track. Shout out to Guyana, period. I probably want to leave a small message at the end now because I feel like a lot of people, like growing up, you know, as kids, I feel like parents should tell the, tell the kids the truth, like from the jump. And, you know, I'm, I'm, this is probably a message for you. And, you know, growing up, you're going to see... You're going to see who daddy is, you feel me? Um, parents should definitely tell the kids the truth of the bad because coming into the world at a certain age, you're going to know of bad that it's not what it is. Like, going to high school or going to college, there's nobody to protect you. Even middle school now in America, like, there's nobody to protect you. There's a bunch of shootings and a bunch of whole other stuff that be happening in schools and in the world, period. But I'm definitely going to raise my son to know, like, life is not a bed of roses, you feel me? And the grass is not always green on the other side because I definitely know that coming on the other side ain't no green grass out here. And if it is, it's fake green grass, you feel me? So I definitely learned that for myself. I would advise parents to, you know, raise your kids from your perspective and then don't let them stick on that because your perspective is only your perspective. That's only your story. There's a lot of other stories out there, a lot of other parts out there for, you know, the kids to walk and, you know, discover themselves and everything. And you always learn something new every day. So teach your kids right, man. Shout out to the camp. Like I said, appreciate you guys for checking it out. You already know it's Team Iro's Life of Iro. Catch you back with the next video. What happened? What do you want to say? You ain't talking now. What do you want to say? Okay. Okay. All right, like he said. Uh, we catch y'all later. See it happen in the Blicky Pop. I'm the reason why my city hot. I'm the reason why they spin blocks. Niggas hating and they turn cops.